Hello everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. We are going to solve the problem pseudo-palindromic paths in a binary tree. So given a binary tree where node values are digits from 1 to 9, a path in a binary tree is said to be pseudo-palindromic if at least one permutation of the node values in the path is a palindrome. So in this example, we have two such paths. The first one is 2, 1, 1. We can rearrange it as 1, 2, 1, which is a palindrome. Again, the another path is 2, 3, 3. We can rearrange this as 2, 3, 2, and 3, which is again a palindrome. The path 2, 3, 1 cannot be rearranged as a palindrome. So this is not a pseudo-palindromic path. So the answer in this case is 2. Now let us look at the conditions for a sequence to be palindrome. There could be two types of palindrome, an odd palindrome and an even palindrome. So first look for the even one. A, B, B and A. This is an even palindrome. In this case, we see that if we shuffle them anyhow, we will be getting number of A's should be even and number of B's should be even. So the number of characters should be even in an even palindrome. Now let us look at the odd palindrome A, B, C, B and A. In this case, we see that A is even, B is also even and C is odd. So basically this part forms an even palindrome and in between an even palindrome, we are putting some character whose count is uh, odd. So yeah, these are the two kinds of palindromes. So at most what we can have, we can have uh, the count of a certain character as odd and that character should be at most one. So this was about characters. Now, if you look at for the digits, what we can do in this case is we are going to traverse the entire tree in any order uh, of uh, DFS, whether it is in order, post order, pre order, it doesn't matter. Once we reach the leaf node, we are going to check for the count of each of the elements which we come through. If the count of a certain element is odd, we are going to count such elements whose count is odd. If the number of such element exceeds 1, we cannot have the palindrome. If the number of such elements is either 0 or 1, in case of 0, we can have even palindrome and in case of 1, we can have odd palindrome. So this is what we are going to do. Let us try to implement this. This is over DFS. And we are going to uh, take a vector of int v. This will contain the count of each element. If not root, in this case the root is null, then return 0. If roots, root is a leaf node, that is left is equals to null. And this is equals to null. In this case we have to count. Yeah, int c is equals to 0 for auto a belongs to v if a modulus 2 is 1. In this case, a is equals to odd. Then we have to increment c. If c is greater than 1, return 0, else return 1. Also, we will have to take this element into consideration so roots value we have to increment the count of this roots value plus plus and before returning we have to undo the changes else in all the other cases We have to return first we will uh, increment first we will increment this and our answer will be left comma v plus And undo the changes ok 
create a vector of int v of size 10 and return this is not helper this is dfs dfs Answer should be two one one. Here yeah, it is the correct answer. Let us try to submit this. We are getting the correct answer in this case. So the time complexity is of course the number of nodes. The number of nodes in this case is ten to the power five. So our approach is working. This is big of n solution. If you like the video, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I will keep uploading content related to the programming interviews. Thank you.